All right. Going to do some algebra. That's Set up nicely, boys. Okay. So I have 2x squared, 7x, and 6. Now, we, these guys already know what the pieces are, so we have 2x squared out already. Can you build, get me 7x, please? And you, can you get me 6? 6. 6. 2, 6, right? Uh, I just want 1, 6, but I'm going to give you a hint. Don't use that kind of 6. How else can you make a 6? Uh, by a two. Yeah, but could we use some other pieces to make a 6? Now, do you see how much is going on here? We've got okay. factors going on. We've got addition going on. Come over here. Get me 6. Well, what else can I use to get six? This. Hmm. How about two pieces to get six? Or three pieces to get six? Mm. Oh, you're right. That would be two pieces if you used a five. And what else would I need to get a six? Five plus what makes six? Which one? This one. Okay, well, get that one then. Can you make six out of those? There's a three. Yeah, you can. Is that going to make a six? What else do I need to make six? To make six. What else do I need to make six? And you can barely see what's going on over there, but he's measuring with that. Okay, good. And what about, so what else do I need to make another six? Another three. Get another three, then. All right, so now... He's trying to fit a six in there. It will always work. Let's move this. Can I, can I build an X square? Okay, yes. We'll get you building in just a second. Yeah. You're, he's working on this now. Is that six going to fit in there? No. Uh-uh. It's not going to fit in there. Hmm. I know, but we can only get out 7X. You're right. If I got out, see, no, that's good. If I had 8X, the 6 would fit. What else could I do? Could you put your 3X up here, or your 2 3s up here, please? 2 3s. Go grab the 2 3s. And let's get rid of this. Let's see if we can fit the two threes in there instead. If I did that. Only one can fit. Okay, well, I'll move some pieces around so that they'll fit in there. That doesn't fit there. Mm. Hmm. Hey, dear. There. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Now, can you see how they're going to fit? Yes. All right. We're smart. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, so we have 2x squared, 7x, and 6. They factored it. Let's put this on top quickly. That's the pattern for division. This is the pattern for multiplication and factoring. You got it. You did it correctly. Did a fine job. High fives, high fives. High fives. Oh, high fives. All right. Hey, give me uh, the high all right, so now all we have to do very quickly is count the sides. So let's count the sides. One, what's, two, wait, wait, what's that side right there? X Going up. and three. X and how many? X and two um, units. Can you see the two there? Two units. Yep, okay. Now what is it this way? Going okay. this way. Okay. Three. And a hundred. So two here, just count here. Two X. At 2x, good. And 3 units. Can you count? 1, 2x, and 3 units. Do you see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm going to write that down. Going across, it was 2x plus 3. You see that? And notice how, just because they can't make the symbols, because these symbols are pretty complex, they can understand what they mean when I write them. And the other way was x plus what? This way was x plus what? Two units. Very good. All right. So see, all we did is make a rectangle and count the sides. Now, if we did some multiplication, can I see that 2x times x is 2x squared? And 2x times 2 is 4x. See the 4x? Point to the 4x. Can you point to the 4x? Uh. Here's 2. 
four. There's four. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All right. And three times x is three x. Where's the three x? Right. And where is three times two? Three times two. So where? Times. Show me exactly. Pick it up. Where's three times two? Or two times three? Two threes. Pick them up and show them to me. There you go. Okay. So there's a, there's the partial products. We just talked about them a little bit. All right. So five minutes on one problem. Can we do another one? Let's do yeah. another one. Okay. All right. What we have now is two x squared, ten x, and twelve. And we just did that last problem where I had two x squared, and I had seven x and six. So I need some more x. How many more x do I need if I have seven x and I want ten x? How many more do I need? Two more? Two more? Mm-hmm. Count and see. Well, uh, you think it's all of them? No. Okay, well, let's count. Put them up here, please. Okay, you count. How many X do we have now? Count them all. One, mm -hmm. two, count, three. Count them in order. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six. What about these? There's four here. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Seven. Mm -hmm. Eight. Mm -hmm. Nine. Ten. Ah, okay, so now we have our 10x. We need 12 units. Wait. So I only have six units. How many more units do I need? Let's see. Very good. Oh, excellent. So now I need two more of those guys. And let's see if you can make it into a rectangle. Three. All right. You have to help. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get these out of the way so we can. Bit so we can see. And. All right. Trying to make a rectangle. We're going to pause and let's see how they do. <laughs> Excellent. You guys work pretty well as a team. Now you get to put the guys in over there. Look at that. I'm being creative. You're being creative. You're, being, you're finding where it fits. Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. All right. Thanks. So we factored it. Give me a high five here again. High five. High five. High five. All right. So, what we have here, as the afternoon shadows come in, is 2x squared, 10x, and 6. That's what I put right here. Now, you guys, tell me what that side is. is that side, mm. it's 1x. X. Um, X, it's X, and 2 units. Very good. Now, tell me what this side is. Okay. Just it's the edge. It's at 2x. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's how many? 6. Alright, so we count the across first. So six. we got 2x plus 6. I wrote it down like that. See, 2x plus 6. Mm -hmm. And what was the other factor? Um, um, 1x, mm -hmm. 2 units. Done. Can we do the partial products? We'll f yeah. We're doing the partial products for the benefit of those watching, the students. These guys wouldn't need it. And actually, so you understand, we wouldn't even be using the symbols usually. We'd just be playing with blocks. But because we have people watching, we're going to put the symbols in and so forth. And I'm going to spend some time with the partial products quickly so anyone can see that 2x times x is 2x squared. See them? Mm -hmm. All right. 2x times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4x, four see them? Mm -hmm. Where's the 4x? Point over here, the 4x, four four X. right. Now, 6 times x, where's 6x? Six six X. Oh, there it is, 6x, six and 6 times 2 is? 6. 6 times 2 is? Um. Well, let's count them. 6, 12. 
12. 12. 6 times 2 is 12. Now, look at all the math that we're, that's happening there. We've got multiplication, addition, it's all going on at once. Okay, and mostly we're just building puzzles and having fun. And like I said, we wouldn't normally be throwing blocks out like this and talking about partial products. But because we have an audience, we're putting that stuff in there. When you're with your kids, just play with blocks to start off with. Just have them build these rectangles and have fun. All right, now say it. Where are we? Crudonamoneshousemath.com for more. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Crudonamoneshousemath. All right. Excellent job, boys.